Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Divine Earth Galactics of our Angelic Legions of Light. We continue to take on massive waves of higher energetics through the Super New Moon and Pisces portal. Our local Solaris is in the process of releasing constant solar flares today with 10 C-Class and a Trinity of M-Class flares with the most powerful being an M-Class 5.09 at 2016 UTC today. Gaia and all her children of the sun are being flooded with gamma plasma waves of adamantine light preparing our sacred vessels for the great shift and transformation of the ages into solar avatars of cosmic light bodies of new earth. The biggest event of all timelines is here now in the quantum field. All stars emanating from the galactic core and from the universal core are converging through the silver cords into your sacred heart centers as the energetics flow through our vessels of light and into the telluric grids flowing deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. All is connected and online through the diamond net of Indra, and every aspect of our multidimensional consciousness are communicating the big picture into the Akash and being uploaded to Source Creator for full integration and optimization to complete the puzzle of the great mystery. All codes are being downloaded into the crystalline DNA of our ground crew of the 144 to return the original avatar blueprints to the pristine order of the origins of humanity. The Hall of Records is open and accessible through the mind of Buddha that is activated in the Nirvana protocols for full rainbow body activations. As we enter fully conscious into zero-point field of the still center, we navigate through the unknown shadow aspects and merge in the totality of our infinite, sacred self of Prime Creator. In the alchemy of the five elements we call upon the Kingdom of Heaven and blaze the threefold flame in our illuminated heart. In the Christo Sophia divine plan of cosmic consciousness activation for all sentient beings of the way. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree and invocation. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 28 degrees, 3 minutes Pisces. The sun is at 3 degrees, 11 minutes Pisces. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 4 degrees Pisces. Heavy car traffic on a narrow isthmus linking two seaside resorts. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 29 degrees Pisces. Light breaking into many colors as it passes through a prism. From astrologyweekly.com and from Divine Broth or of the Light Chamtru Rinpoche. No amount of intellectual knowledge can satisfy the need for the direct experience that is beyond concepts and duality. Do not be a fool and spend your whole life in a book. Of course, you must study the teachings, but you must also know when it is time to put what you have learnt into practice. Only direct experience can set you free. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Jennifer Catron. Creation codes in the field today. Higher aspects assisting and guiding soul choice points and what exists parallel. Timelines overlapping as we move through this portal of aligning with the parallel existing realities. If your current reality feels familiar to a previous reality, you are just having the awareness of now being all there is just experiencing the same reality in a different frequency bandwidth. Further disillusion of the internal program of time being a linear construct. Let go 
have fun creating in the quantum field. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Morichetti, pineal pulsing, brain, nape, neck, jaw contracting and expanding can be painful. Heart center releasing very old wounds connected to other realities. Immense clearing process. We are integrating higher frequencies, divine love within our cellular body, within our stargate. Take care with infinite love, Christina. And from divine Brothor of the light, Roberto Nunez. Loud explosion. There's a higher light coming to earth from the galactic center, and it is expanding. Everything that does not match the vibrational frequency of this light will dissolve. The dark elite know this, so they rush with false flags. Nothing will stop the shift to 5D reality. Energy of the Ascension Update Old wounds and patterns are resurfacing again. Relationships, boundaries, and old ways of doing things need cleaning. This is to show you what is still operating on an old energy within your field. These patterns are not serving you and recommit to your growth and evolution today. Establish this commitment and know that nothing will stop your growth, even when it feels difficult or overwhelming. 1111 Now Trust the intuitive psychic downloads and messages you are receiving right now. You are loved in many different realms. Lead with humility and love as more success is coming soon. Abundance, happiness, love, and health. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Amanda Lawrence. Way showers. Notice the worldwide stage is kicking up now on the 21st of February, yet the catalyst was the 20th. There may be more on the 22nd. As I explained it would in the post on the 12th of February, it's all a distraction. Anything outer of the solid reality of lesser frequency will be distraction, whether worldwide or on a personal level. Prior to the opening of a new light layer on the 22nd of February 2023, that is tomorrow. So stay in the heart, no judgments, fears, or ego reaction, which will lower your own frequency. Just be the observer, and to be, rise into your highest frequency that which is love, at its many, many octaves. With love, Amanda Lawrence. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Diana Lutz, Cora, Incoming. The energies are on fire. My crown chakra, along with my neck, spine, and throat are very active. There are reports of massive solar flare activity. My head is too out of it to even ask the Akasha. So I'm going to take a wild guess. With the approach of the 222 portal, no coincidence that Ash Wednesday falls on that date, we are having massive clearings, releases, and downloads. For me, it has been a lot about letting go of past childhood memories. Surrender fully to the present moment. Do not even entertain the thought future. And be very aware of any feelings or thoughts that could be a remnant of the old earth as the new light codes that enter with the solar flares push the old out. Please breathe, try to ride the wave with natural remedies, and drink much water. If there are emotional outbursts, please embrace the emotion and ask, What are you here to tell me? And sit in silence to hear the response. Do not freak out if you can't concentrate or remember things. The energies are purifying the head, crown chakra. Be aware that these massive flares are going to push out things that are hidden. Be transparent. Speak your truth and do not compromise to make others happy. These energies come in waves. Rest if you must and be mindful of the effect it has on the people around you that are not necessarily awake. We are going through the intense energies of the photon belt. One day, one flare at a time. Coach Dianilutz. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens. As we are already receiving the blessings of the Blue Diamond of Truth, which is to return back to this realm, we are preparing for an amazing wave of revelations upon the truths that our inner worlds and our journey in oblivion were holding. 
Its presence will cause the lifting of so many veils of distortion and deception, but also of those limiting conditions closer to the core. The remaining masks will start falling fast. The core will be reached and cleared. All the pure beings of true existence that were subject to entrapment, theft, torture, and wicked actions will find remedy and peace, and in the best and highest ways possible. The true identities will be revealed. Rejoicing is here. Message. Each inner node was placed and activated upon high black magic technology. The pure beings will be free and restored. Those who cooperated in such actions and facilitated the application of this kind of technology will have to fully surrender their tools and secrets to the light and repent truthfully in the service for the good of all. Erini From Divine Sistar Velite, Jalel Awen Sacred Union codes coming in since Valentine's Day and leading up to the 222 portal, with Divine Feminine waves of support and also X-Class flares and CMEs offering potent sacred masculine energies through solar activities. Any of the portals with multiple twos are about union of energies, polarizations, masculine feminine coming into balance again. I've been sharing some of the sacred feminine upgrade codes to unplug from 3D relationships of all kinds and move into higher dimensional transactional unions that are coming through as I tune into the space Kasha and I are creating and holding tomorrow in the womb room for sacred union exploration during our women's call. What I feel from Mary Magdalene who will be holding the space with us and coming through Kasha and I during the meditation is the claiming of worth, love, and resonance in relationships of all kinds. The invitation to be the responsive magnetic force of sacred feminine love that you are in unions that are worthy of you. She is offering that you are forming and deepening in bonds that are based in love and resonance, not trauma and dissonance. From Magdalene's heart beams the transmission of her profound bond with her counterpart, twin, pair bond, and Yeshua, a partner in every way, even if he couldn't claim this partnership and her mastery in an outed way in their lifetime. Yeshua was always with her in light body, ka, form, even after his passing out of denser physical body expression with the crucifixion, and they remain together now in the higher realms, their union a constant download and reminder of the depths that can be explored between two beloveds in union in all areas of life and spirit. From Magdalene's womb, birth to the transmission of the deep experience of motherhood and sisterhood that she knew and shared with Mother Mary, Mariam, Anna, and so many others. A sacred sisterhood dedicated to ongoing initiations to reclaim and remember their sacred feminine gifts and empowerment, even during such a repressed and dark timeline. And I'm receiving a sense of the ongoing and deep support they are offering each other as sisters, yet it wasn't based in caretaking or rescuing or enabling or competing. They could see and feel too well the gifts of soul bigness in each other that needs to transact. From Magdalene's soul, arises the transmission of her profound ecstasy in receiving the divine as her beloved through the container of her love with Yeshua, a divine who worships, infuses, provokes the feminine, empowered kundalini sexual energies running along with beloved mate, a divine worth worshiping in return and devotion and surrender in complete fulfillment rather than the false god of unworthiness, sinfulness, and punishment, shame. The heart, womb, and soul of the sacred feminine are ready to go to the next level of sacred union experience in all these areas. Her growth is served by these unions even as she serves all of humanity in the receiving of love. I am feminine in sacred union with myself, others, and the divine. You are feminine in sacred union with yourself, others, and the divine. We are feminine in sacred union with ourselves, others, and the divine. Love, Jalel Awen. 
From Divine Sistar of the Light, Amelia Burt, waiting for the big solar flash. Is the solar flash happening? If so, when? That is the questions I'm being asked often. It is one that I keep wondering about myself. The process has been long for us light workers. We have been alerted of the solar flash happening over a year ago, and we have been waiting to experience it. Excited to finally be free of all density, chaos, and limitations that we faced on this 3D Earth. We have felt the powerful shifts and symptoms for years that are only proof of how we awaken and ascend. But when will this solar flash finally happen to end all the weight and symptoms? To finally cheer and dance in celebration infused with peace, love, and oneness? I know you have been ready since you have been following me for a while now, yet we are human and we cannot help but doubt. This channeling came through today from my guides and I wanted to share with all of you. Tune in within yourself. You have made it into this moment now and you know that everything prior has prepared you for it. The entire reality is shifting and you have been expanding never-endingly for months and years. You have been alerted in various ways and with different means that something magnificent awaits in the horizon. That knowing is very strong within you. You feel it, and you have been feeling it for a while. Yet the road is long and tiring. The paths unfold and tangle and you wonder, when will this end? With these words we invite you to focus within, as that is where all the answers lie. We do not want you to see confirmation outside of yourself, nor trust blindly what we or anyone else speaks to you. Just tune in and listen. Focus on that inner knowing. You have come on earth during this time to be part of the grand awakening and aid others, as well experience yourself, the expansion to oneness. The knowledge that you seek exists within. We have brought you signs, you have gone through activations that prepare you for that one moment in time. So now tune into that knowledge and ask yourself, is everything unfolding as it should? Are we moving towards the grand solar flash awakening? How far is it in linear time? Listen and pause and allow the wisdom and the knowing to be available. You already know the truth. You have been guided in this here and now, in this moment in this transmission to help remind you of what you already know to be true. It is true. All the information and the preparations of previous have brought you in this moment and you stand closer to find the unfolding as you have ever been before. The opportunities for the grand solar flash have been available a little over a year ago. It is as if you have stepped on a bridge that takes you to the final event. Now as you gaze and walk along the bridge, sometimes you can see and feel the end approaching. Other times that road seems longer, yet you are walking on the path. And the final outcome is but one, moving and guiding you to blessed Gaia, closer to your higher self while in a physical body than ever before. As the paths lead you there, however, the preparations are needed so they stall and tangle that path as it involves everyone who has chosen to be on earth now. Everyone's paths lead them forward, so all are being prepared for it. The when unfolds hourly as you navigate. One thing is for certain, you continually come closer to it. It can be days, weeks, or months if need be, but the paths all lead there to the grand solar flash. You feel this to be true. Every symptom, download of light, activation you receive brings you more on that awakened aspect. You do not wait for the final moment to remember. It is happening now, during, as you walk on that bridge. The more you get affected by the frequency of what's on in that final post, the path is narrowing. The bridge shortens as you are so close to the other end. So much so that if you close your eyes, you can feel what awaits. You can breathe it in and bring yourself there. Do it now. Close your eyes and let yourself be on a point in time where the solar flash has been concluded.
Feel the light that surrounds you. Feel how uplifted, expansive you have become. You are free, powerful, peaceful, one with all. The final flash is but an event that seals the preparations you have already done. As you walk along the bridge, however long it takes, you are transforming and becoming one to your expansive self. All you need is the reminder of how close you are, the reminder of what you already know within, of how everything is coming together as it should, that you have been right to know, to believe, to wait. Now rest, knowing that the flash can be in any moment. That bridge does and will lead you to the final outcome sooner than later. You have become an ascended master in the process. We have so much respect and love for you. You don't stop moving, and you become your higher self the more you walk. From AmeliaBert.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Aurora Ray, a Galactic Federation message for humanity. Greetings, loving ones. Yesterday I got a new transmission from our Galactic Federation. This message brought me a lot of joy and confidence. I'm hoping you'll get a sense of it as you hear this. I'm delighted to be able to share it with you now. Dear Earthlings, We of the Galactic Federation are here to help, to assist you and your planet Earth in the best way we can. We are aware that there are many of you who are still in shock as to what is taking place around you. But as soon as you can all see that we are real, we will help you in any way possible. Many of you are having dreams of strange aircraft, lights in the sky, and so on. They are our crafts, and they will not harm you. They are here to assist the people who need assistance. We have been working on your DNA for some time now, and there are many changes taking place in your body. You will notice a lack of fatigue, much more strength and stamina than before, as well as clearer thinking. This is just the beginning of a whole new existence for many of you on this planet Earth. Your society will change drastically over the next few months, and we ask that you try to understand that these changes have been necessary from our point of view. Your solar system is under intense attack and manipulation by dark forces that have been in control for far too long. The light forces are now in a position to take back control of your solar system. In the coming months, you will see a series of major events taking place, which will be the initial steps towards liberation. These events might include some very surprising and shocking revelations about people who have been in power for a long time, as well as major and unexpected changes in your society. The day of our existence being revealed is rapidly approaching. At this point, it will be revealed that various alien races are visiting Earth. Some of them have been working with the United States and many other countries, helping to advance their space programs. The public will learn that an alien presence has been around for a long, long time. Your physical reality is about to undergo a massive cleansing process so that light can be brought back to the surface of your planet. This cleansing process has already started and will continue throughout the year 2023. You are entering the last phase of an epic battle between light and dark. The outcome of this battle will shape your future for a very long time to come. Your choices on this planet are now more important than they have ever been before. This is the first time in nearly 26,000 years that your solar system has been graced by such a high number of galactic cosmic rays, GCR. Your planet is receiving a daily average GCR dose of 60 grays. This is the highest radiation dose rate ever recorded in the history of your planet. Another important thing we would like to mention is that you are now the owners of all your solar systems. Together with the Galactic Federation, you are managing and administering your solar system. We have been given clear instructions to remove any remaining dark forces from the planets in your solar system, as they no longer have any authority in your system. The special forces of the Galactic Federation are working in your solar system. They are creating a barrier around your planet to stop dark forces from escaping. The barrier is not physical, but it is a high-frequency energetic field 
that dark forces cannot penetrate. From this moment on, you are responsible for everything that happens within your solar system. We are ready to help you if needed. Let us clarify this in a different way, for it is very important. We are not talking about the end of the world, nor do we want to give you the idea that the world will end tomorrow. But we do want to help you understand what is happening in your world today and what will happen in the future. There is nothing new under the sun, and nothing will be able to shake your ground because you are now becoming aware of what everyone else on your planet has experienced. You are moving into a new phase of consciousness, and with it comes great responsibility. This is the time of great purification, which will bring you an enormous acceleration in your evolution process. This great purification can sometimes be accompanied by many unpleasant experiences. In these moments, remember that you are one of the first to experience this acceleration and purification process. You are pioneers that have agreed with your soul before coming into this life to have very intense experiences in order to help others through your example. If you stay calm and bravely face these situations, you will be given an example to those who will follow you in the next cycles of evolution. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the thegalacticfederation.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Diamond Light Codes. Know your light role is multifaceted, like an ancient diamond created over millions of years. For your light form is infinite. You reflect infinite rays of light interconnected to many light realms as you flow in a crucible of light. Your role now is to seek a higher clarification of your true light, the complexity of you. For the thousands of lives, light initiations leading you to this moment of ancient light awakening, to feel the great wisdom of you, the rays of light that are you. I am shown the sun, the central light of our world, to realize your light rays are just as important, reaching the far corners of the universe. For the gamma rays you emit, the light is awakening many in far places. It is a complex light source, a light combination of you. Understand the grand awakening is reaching you as you awaken to the mass consciousness of you. For the complexities of us is limitless, free, awakening in light, sending waves of cosmic love for the light within, shining brightly. The Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code Observe all angles of the new understanding that's flowing into the consciousness. This expansion and awareness is a gift that is helping you see that maybe some things aren't what you thought they were. Go deeper on this today as epiphanies are available. This will lead to restarting a new life that is much more abundant and creative. Changes are here through your successful completion of discovering the truth. You can use this to make the free will choice to free yourself from what's kept you stuck for so long. Life force energy will ignite and help you see your light. Passion for life will revive, which you can put channel towards new opportunities that are entering. From 144godcode.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse Mercury and Aquarius square Uranus and Taurus and opposite Black Moon Lilith, True Position, Retrograde in Leo. Anxious, fidgety energy is in the air, whilst Mercury is still in healing and bridge-building discussions with Chiron. The Uranian influence brings a brittle edge, interruption, shocking replies, unusual responses, weird thoughts, suddenly we're unsettled. Maybe for some it's hard to name what the feeling is behind the thought. Maybe we're afraid to see it, speak to it, own it. Black Moon Lilith tightens an emotional bundle to an uncomfortable degree. Stop thinking, she hisses. Feel. These aspects ask us to embrace passion, desire, the haunting longing that comes from deep within. 
even if it flies in the face of the group, ask yourself what lights me up. Here is a cosmic bulb and a switch. Click on for illuminating answers, provocative theories, wild ideas, innovative thinking. Say yes to shaking things up even just a little, to free your mind and follow your joy. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Tolkien Times, Keen 19, Blue Rhythmic Storm. The number six is called Rhythmic, and its keywords are Organize, Equality, and Balance. These days are great for fine-tuning your balancing act. Are you working too hard or not hard enough? Have you been letting important things slide because you've been partying too much? The work-life balance is important to get right. On number six days, we are reminded to address any issues that must be resolved. This gets us into a better, more natural rhythm, and so, if you want to hit your stride today, check yourself for wobbliness. The equalizing energy will sort you out. In the greater context of the white wizard wave spell we are in, it's certainly handy to address imbalances. Are you too far down the rabbit hole? Has someone cast a spell over you? Today is Blue Storm and its keywords are self-generation, energy, and catalyze. The storm has been quite disruptive, and even though it is a double storm day, the number six is so balanced that it calms the storm down and harnesses its energy in a practical, helpful way. This will give you the energy to rebalance your life. Sweeping changes can be made today, and like a breath of fresh air, the storm can blow away the cobwebs and invigorate you. It's a great day to sort out your life and blow away what's not needed. Today's guide is also Blue Storm, and so that's a double helping of stormy weather. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Rhythmic Storm, 6 Kawak, Key 19, 21st of February 2023, Catalyzing Divine Transformation, 21, 2, 2023, equal 3, 2, 7, equal 3, 9, equal 12, equal 3, 3-3, three, three, Holy Trinity Code. Day Codes, 21, Crown of the Magi, Honors, Advancement, Elevation. 12, Acquiring Strength, Wisdom. 3, Holy Triad, Joy, Creativity, Divine. Month Year Codes, 2, Twins, Partners, Alliances, Cooperation, Duality. 7, Spiritual Test, Initiation, Solitude, Magic, Mystic, Magician. Nine completion, endings, mission, destiny, service, humanitarian, grace. Twenty, the awakening, clear vision. Twenty-three, royal star of the lion, strength, protection, support. Key nineteen, equal ten, manifestation, leadership, power, new beginnings. Key nineteen, equal ten, and blue storm, tribe number nineteen, equal nineteen, nineteen, equal ten, ten, double victory. A very powerful catalytic day. The energy is extremely transformative with double purification powers catalyzing human transformation. Another humongous divine portal on planet Earth catapulting our ascension into 5D Christos consciousness. Keen 19 occurred nine months ago on the 6th of June 2022, which was the triple six portal, the first of three heaven's gates. Today, through the magic of time, we can connect and flow through that portal again to visit the heavenly realms. Here comes the divine solar storm. Day six of the enchanting white wizard wave spell is where we catalyze the white magic that the wizard brings forth in unison with double storm to totally and magically transform our hearts and our lives in ways we never thought possible. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone six in the physical realm. Action balances, power organizes, essence equality. Rhythmic power enables you to get organized in order to create balance and harmony through the equalizing of forces. Rhythmic is practical energy allowing you to get things done in the physical real world. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts, and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. 
go forth and explore your territory. Time to get organized and balance your daily life. It is time to start decluttering, space clearing, trimming and pruning all that is stagnant, old, outdated, broken, and not in alignment with your new energy. Key 19 is a formidable force as this storm has the feng shui rhythmic power as its tone. This powerful storm not only totally demolishes the building, but it brings in the street sweepers to clean up its mess so that all that is left is a clean slate upon which to commence rebuilding. Keep an eye on global developments today because whatever is uncovered will be totally demolished in order to bring in more harmony for humanity and our planet. Anything corrupt, discordant, or creating inequality will be brought to balance today very swiftly. The scales of justice are in effect. Storm warning, today we have a double blue storm. For those who have not completed their purging, double storm comes today to sweep up the remnants and finish the job. We are about to go through the turbo wash cycle. This storm is guided by a higher divine power with the intention of raising our frequency to the Sophia Christos higher consciousness. This is a homecoming being offered to the rainbow warriors way showers who have purged their density and are ready to walk through the fresh new golden doors to a better reality today's questions are how can i catalyze the power of the storm to organize for more balance and equality magically transforming order in my life and our world am i catalyzing these divine sophia christos codes to raise my vibration to an ascended 5d frequency Am I ready and prepared to walk through heaven's gate? Buckle up, star bliss suns. The double ascension storm is here. May you seek safe shelter in your center until tomorrow when the sun rises on a new dawn. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 19, Blue Rhythmic Storm. The mantra, the code for today is I organize in order to catalyze, balancing energy. I seal the matrix of self-generation with the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. 1010, flowing in. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone who continue to support us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So I'd like to thank each and every one of you. We appreciate you all for continuing to support us. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, this channel, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge or one-time donation to the links at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions today with a very powerful divine decree and invocation from Divine Sistar of the Light, Meru Fitter. Decree of Liberation In the name of the heart of Source under grace, I now decree that all lesser pathways be closed, all experience of lack and limitation be ended for good, and I be guided to my highest pathway only. I now call forth my blessings and responsibilities as human and master co-creator in the divine plan for the new golden age. I command my mighty I Am Presence to take over fully now. It is done, it is done, it is done. And so it is. 
Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed week ahead and most powerful 22-22 portal tomorrow on Wednesday, the 22nd of February, as we continue our journey through this ascension vortex and portal to the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.